All right, good morning, Sunny Slope, and happy Tuesday. If you haven't figured it out, which we've only been online for like six seconds, right? How would you see it? We are in what would have been Miss Hogeman's fifth grade classroom. And as I walked in and I turned the lights on, I saw these hanging up right next to the light switch. And I was thinking about the old days. Remember the, the library bracelets, the days of what could have been. And then when we had such easy access to classroom books, right? See those all back there? That's right. So for sixth grade, Miss Fontaine, Miss Woods, and Miss Davalos, I believe your classes yesterday, when you see this, today, Monday, had an opportunity to pick up library books, real, live, actual Sunny Slope classroom library books. That's right. Miss Aguilar is working on that right now. As I was walking over, she was working on it in the library, checking them out, getting them ready for you to be picked up. I think between two and seven yesterday, right? Did you pick up your phone? I hope so. And so Miss Aguilar will be working on that, but unfortunately you will not be able to pick up a bracelet or a wristband to go to the library at lunch today. Not yet. Although who knows, the way this world and the way the dominoes are falling, it makes me wonder, maybe we'll, we, we will be passing out some of those wristbands this year, right? Okay, uh, let's see. Last week, some good news. Overall attendance last week in the virtual world was 96.13%. Nice job. That is an amazing number, better than if we were in school. And the highest was fifth grade. Shout out to fifth grade. 98.0, squiggly, I don't know what's in the 100 spot. A nine, 98.9, 98.08, .9, I have something. I have my, my handwriting is a little messy. I apologize. But shout out to fifth grade. Nice job. And Mr. JB, Mrs. Rodriguez, Ms. Ramos, I hope you're sitting for this part. And if you're not, I'll give you a quick second to sit down. Kindergarten's attendance last week was 97.47%. That's an amazing number. Nice job, kindergarten. Uh, let's see. And for those of you that may not know, or maybe you've forgotten, this Friday, at midnight, but don't stay up that late to be on Footsteps for Brilliance, is the end of the first Footsteps for Brilliance contest. Uh, so I know yesterday I gave you the numbers of who was winning, the top teachers. So now it's the home stretch, right? If we're on horses, brum, 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 Home stretch to Friday. So we will see who the top two students in each grade level will be and who the top two teachers will be. Uh, I haven't figured out how I want to do this yet. So as of today, but when you see this, as of yesterday, we as a school will be at 5.8 million words. I want to come up with some kind of a, you know, like when the old days you'd come into like the library sometimes, or there'd be like a guessing game, like guess how many jelly beans there are in a jar, guess how many M&Ms there are, something like that. I want to do a little contest for when we think we as a school will hit 15 million words words. I'm still figuring out like the slips of paper. Maybe I'll leave them out in front of the office like on Mondays and when you come by to pick up library books or drop off library books in a couple weeks or pick up food that you could that you can make a guess. I haven't quite figured out how I want to do that yet, but I would like to have some kind of a contest. So I will keep you posted on that one. I've uh, been thinking about it. So in six weeks, we've done 5.8 million words. Theoretically, we're in school about 36 weeks which means 34 million words could be reachable. Uh, unless, of course, people are like Eli and Gabriel and they're graduating uh, Footsteps of Brilliance and you can't read anymore because you've graduated and you get your little banner and you're wow. All right, so that's that. Footsteps of Brilliance, amazing job, attendance. Okay, now, today's joke. Why are elephants always ready to swim on a hot day? That's right, remember we're going with the heat theme this week. Wednesday now is supposed to be the hottest day, 100 degrees. That's what my friend Google tells me. So we'll see if he, she, they is correct. So it's gonna be hot all week. Why are elephants always ready to swim on a hot day? I'm sure most of you already got this, but if you did not, because they always have their trunks with them. Because they always have their trunks with them. All right, think about that one. And today's fun fact, uh, when I was looking for heat fun facts, 
I didn't really find one I liked. And then underneath it was like, other, said other fun facts for kids. And so I clicked on it just because I was curious what it was. And here's the scientific name for yawning, you know, how some of you look at 816 or 901 or 931, depending on which grade level you are when you start. Another name for yawning is oscitation. Oscitation, O-S-C-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. I don't know if I said that right, but I think I did. Oscitation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one last view of Miss Hogeman's fifth grade classroom. And I'm sure right now Miss Sutton's thinking, Mr. Rebus, are those my desks and chairs? I don't know. I don't think so. But yes, Miss Hogeman has desks and chairs, something that right next door on the other side of that wall, there are none. But we'll find them when we need them. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, until then, I want you to have an amazing day. Stay cool as best you can. And remember these words, that I believe in you, that if we were here, actually, Miss Hogeman would be right about there right now, if this were a real morning announcement. All of your teachers believe in you. And we know that together we can do... Anything. The word is anything. Ladies and gentlemen, have an amazing day. Maybe you got food yesterday. Maybe you got some library books. We'll see what happens. Until then, stay awesome.